A local parent is concerned after a registered sex offender delivered pizza to his family. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jennifer Pinate. KNWA's Kelly O'Neill investigated the situation and shows us what jobs sex offenders can and cannot have. It could be very dangerous for other people to have a sex offender come up to their house and know where their kids are. While ordering pizza from a local chain restaurant, Matthew Bott recognized the driver as a child predator. Tried to look up what his original charges were, and it turned out that it was actually for internet stalking a child, and he was considered a level three sex offender. His experience opening up the conversation about who you innocently allow into your home for a quick food delivery. A individual who has been assigned a community notification level of a three or four cannot work in an occupation directly or primarily where they interact with children under the age of 18. There are four levels for sex offenders under Arkansas law. The levels represent the likelihood the offender will re-offend with one being the least likely and four being a sexually violent predator. Although they might deliver to a house, that doesn't mean that they're necessarily working directly and primarily with the minor, so therefore they would be allowed legally to obtain that job and it would be up to the individuals that are hiring. Jennifer Dean, the area manager for Arkansas community correction says there has to be a balance. The reality is is that when an individual, any individual is employed, um, they have less free time or less unstructured free time and therefore it's really a reduction in risk. It's a community service to hire individuals in general that have felonious offenses. Leaving Bot, who's a father of three, with many questions. A person who's done their time should be able to get another job, but if you're a sex offender, you should know that there are go there should be limitations on what you're able to do. Dean says it's best to follow basic safety standards no matter who is coming to your home. It is an individual's uh, priority to keep themselves and their children safe, a and information is always power. In Northwest Arkansas, Kelly O'Neill KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News.